when we first were formed coming out of Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania, we're primarily known as a discovery operations, R&D. Over time, we built the, the development component, which includes the regulatory capabilities, as well as manufacturing. But Luxterna coming to market last year really rounded us out and by having this delivery component of the commercialization and the ability to take what we've built in the lab, obviously got approved through the regulators and now into the hands of patients, right? And uh, it's been a really rewarding journey. The way we think about the pipeline is we've got uh, three target tissues. Uh, with Luxterna, we've proven out that we can deliver uh, to the retina. Um, with hemophilia B, we've l leveraged the liver uh, to create the needed, uh, the, the protein needed uh, to support uh, hemophilia B patients. And then we've got an early uh, product within, uh, it's for CLN2 disease, uh, with where we use the brain to do kind of the similar thing that we are doing in the liver to create uh, a biofactory in the brain to produce the protein. So those three tissue targets allow us, you know, maximum flexibility to you know a, a, you know really address diseases that uh, can be supported through those tissues so other IRDs is a is is, is something that's uh, obvious so we publicly stated that we have a star guards uh, program that we're working on it's in early stages uh, so we're we're obviously excited about we've got a corridoremia cord program as well so We've definitely got uh, uh, ideas for other IRDs, and Luxterna has the proof of concept for that. With the liver, we y you mentioned the Pfizer partnership went on hemophilia B, but we have our own hemophilia A program that we're equally excited about, and uh, that's a, a bigger uh, patient population, and uh, we are, you know, we've actually initiated the run-in portion of the phase three, so we're in the early stages of the phase three uh, for that program. So uh, that's what we're excited about, and you know, staying within the liver, we also have a, a, we, a phase one, two program that we're gonna be initiating uh, for Pompeii, hopefully in 2019. So a lot of exciting things that are coming through. On the CNS side, we haven't really uh, shared a lot about um, you know, the different disease areas, but uh, because CLN2 is, has that ability uh, to get uh, you know, into a pretty difficult part of the body uh, to, to uh, deliver the needed enzyme or protein, we're excited about uh, what that could unlock in uh, other disease areas that are affected, obviously, in the, in the CNS.